This week, I'm going to take my claustrophobic piano and put them through these and these and some of these to see if I can make a cool piano. Shut it. How I hate that word. A little plug before we start. Audio Artemis, amazing community of female samplers, have done a beginner's guide to sampling. If you fancy becoming part of Audio Artemis, shut it! Or indeed, piano book, then uh, this is the, the must have book, linked in the description down below. Right, let's get on. This beautiful music is part of the monthly highlights that Simon Fife, one of the Piano Book volunteers, collates for us all to enjoy. So do check out the links down below. There's so much going on behind the scenes with Piano Book at the moment. I can't wait to show you the new site. It's going to change the entire culture of what we're about, but for the better. Another thing that's been going on behind the scenes is the amazing work of David Hillowitz into this free, decent sampler platform. It now supports multi-signals, and that's what I want to play with today. So, which signals to use? So I thought I'd grab an opportunity to take advantage of the veritable pedal bomb that has gone off in my studio. I've just finished a year-long production for Spitfire Audio. More news on the 21st of June about that. So I thought before striking all of this yummy I'd make a cool piano. The thing is, it's all about taking your raw ingredients, the claustrophobic piano, and deciding on the machinery you're going to put them through. But it's also, you've got to have a destination as well as an idea of what the sound is. Now, this is where I think you can use influence. I'm a massive fan of Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross, and they have, in my mind, really cool piano sounds. I'm not going to reference them. I'm not going to get social network up because I don't want to copy them. But I'm going to use that memory reference point as a steerer, a direction. But also, the amazing samples you make for Piano Book influence me as well. I guess this is how we become this singular zeitgeist, starting with The Jazz Man by James Yates. It's an old Krumar jazz man, which is a, a poor man's transistor, Rhodes type thing. What I loved about this instrument is your use of loads of different signals. This is just two, but there's like at least a dozen different signals. My favorite had to be the tape signal. So cool. And we've also got the jazz man long. It's a much simpler signal. but there's just a little something going on there. So what I love about the tape signal is the, the kind of pitchy instability of it. And this pitchiness kind of ties in with my memory of the Trent reznor types of pianos. So Decent Sampler, I think, can handle three signals. So what I'm going to do is just going to create a bit of MIDI playing the claustrophobic, feed it through my patch board into three different signals, starting with, for this kind of pitchiness, my favourite pedal, the shallow water, and I'm very lucky to have two of these so I can run it out stereo simultaneously. And I just fiddle around with it until I feel I'm close to my destination, my memory influence and how the jazz man has inspired me. Now, for my second signal, I was inspired by Ghost in the Lowry by Brendan Bonsack, who uh, donates a lot of instruments to Piano Book. Thanks for these. And it's a model Lowry organ raised from the dead by sampling technology. And there's something interfering and creating some really spooky stuff. Great, got a bit of vibrato. But if we put these electrical noises in, which you can do with the modulation wheel, ghost in the machine.
which reminds me of this remote violin that was created by Alejandro Morgana Martinez. I've said your name a million different ways. I do apologise. But um, this is basically a collaboration, albeit remotely. And I think it's just great that you're working with musicians, Alejandro, and this is something that we should all try and do over the next couple of years. It's been absolutely devastating for them. It's not only a, a really interesting violin sample, but again, we've got some interference to play with. Absolutely love this GUI, so let's put this one up first. For my second signal, I don't know if I know of anything that creates that interference -y kind of stuff, but what I thought I'd do is slam some tape and push it to the very edge. So I've got two real tape delay units. They're very different, and I'm just going to lean in on idiosyncrasy and create a left channel with the Roland and a right channel with her Australian cousin. And all I'm doing really is slamming this tape and trying to get as few repeats back from it as humanly possible so it retains its pianoistic qualities. Another instrument I really thought was really inspiring in April's submissions was the 1956 tenor horn by Arseny Kunin. So it's a 1956 Soviet Union era tenor horn. I love its incredibly tender quality and I think that this is again brought about by its kind of pitch instability and I just love the way Arsene that you've 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 really embraced the, the character of the the instrument There's a real frailty to it. Congratulations for that. And for me, Piano Book is all about character. The magic of this community is we get to play each other playing these instruments that are totally unique. That, for me, is the romance of it. It's not about pristine wares. So, fantastic. And with that in mind, I just think I really want to create my final signal, something that has a an instability to it and really push the envelope of it, it not sounding perfect, the character. So what I'm going to do is enlist a Zvex lo-fi pedal. This amazing Chase Bliss. And because I'm currently in mono, I'm going to flesh it out with a bit of delay to create some stereoness. Now, noise. This I'm going to get on to with the, the, the last highlight this week. Uh, noise is... I think is problematic within samples because the minute you start duplicating notes, the noise floor starts to rise. And basically what we're faced with is uh, television engineers. Basically, uh, they can fail your score based on the amount of noise or hum. Basically, the situation is you don't want people to start playing with their TV screens um, or complaining to the exhibitor in, in the film cinema that uh, it sounds uh, broken. So you're at the mercy of these engineers who basically approve all of the technical aspects of any production. So I do think that uh, noise reduction is a crucial part of uh, sampling. And with these signals, it's not just noise, it's also there's often a little bit of mains stuff in there as well. You can see these continuous notes here with the pedals, less so with the shallow water. That's the Australian tape machine. 
and that's the uh, Roland. You can see there's some pretty hardcore uh, banding there of a you know mains hum, basically. So what you need to do is not only denoise stuff, but also de-hum. And what Isotope does is it just analyzes, which has grabbed a bit of audio here, it analyzes it and then simply suggests how to de-hum it. And all it is, it's a notch filter. It's literally pinging out those frequencies that it's it's found. So I've run those all out uh, noise reduced and let's see how the cool piano has worked out. Now this is the contact version, but it's also available for free to download from pianobook.co.uk in the link in the video description down below. Now this is a beta of the instrument and these are the wrong way around. That's been fixed on the one that's on piano book. So this is actually shallow water. much much mellower than I thought it was going to be and then this is actually the tape very interesting and then finally our wonky pedals I'm kind of a bit nervous about this signal Nailed it. Let's put them all together. And what I'm really happy about is to me, that doesn't sound like Trent Reznor in the spirit of possibly, but it's not like I've copied them. It's something new, something to share with you. Now, this has been made in uh, collaboration with my sample buddy, Stephen Tallamy, who's piano books buddy, let's face it. Uh, where we'd be without him, I don't know. And I've spoken about having sample buddies, and I think this is really important. Just someone, they don't have to be a Bezzy pal, it can be someone that you've met on the piano book forum, someone that you can exchange samples with to beat a test. But also, in the case of this next highlight, someone who can maybe help you noise reduce your samples. So let's just check this out. It's the it's Sufian Hu by Penelope Antenna. And this sweet little instrument is called a Merlin. It's a dulcimer by Canadian guitar maker Seagull. I recorded it using two handmade cardioid mics, amazing, and then passed it through to my reel-to-reel -reel for a real Sufjan Stevens sound. But going back to that problem of these TV engineers, I suspect this falls just below the noise acceptability levels. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is, uh, Penelope, I'm going to be your sample buddy and just see if I can bring the, those noise levels down just a tiny little bit. So what I'm going to do is actually just going to get rid of this. So let's have a listen to these samples. See, now these actually sound fine. It's all good. I think that's the, the problem there. So what it is, it's all of these ones there so it's these ones that are in the tens let's just find one with a bit of something at the end yeah you see there's a lot of noise there so what we're going to do is we're going to use the spectral denoiser hither and if we view there it gets on that so we're learning and i've got this um cheeky little monkey there so let's learn reduced by 24 and instead of modifying the file name, I'm going to keep the same file name, but just whack them into a different folder. I'm just going to put nard, create, open, process. Now what I'm going to do, and don't do this at home, kids. I'm just going to pull these in and go. Apply to all, replace. And then, theoretically, when I load this back up, it'll be playing the slightly quieter samples. So 
So I'll save that down as a slightly less Sufjani version of your fantastic Merlin. And thanks, Penelope, so much. And to all of you who submit instruments for everyone to use for free on anything on pianobook.co.uk. So is it a cool piano? Well, see for yourself by downloading it in the description down below, alongside the highlights and many other wonders to be found at Pianobook. Link below also is the Audio Artemis website and a link to that amazing new book they've compiled about getting into the sampling game. Thanks to all of you for your demos, for your submissions, for your feedback, for the community and for the love and support. It basically wouldn't be around if it wasn't for you. So I look forward to seeing you next month. More highlights and more experiments with sampling. Love to you all. See you later.